the inside of a petroleum storage tank is not a fun uh, place to work. Um, they're very dull, dirty, dangerous areas. The, the midstream oil and gas industry, inspection technologies, been pretty much underserved by automation and robotics. The market told us more than anything that they really needed advanced automation to help with these inspections. It's one of these things where a robot can help do a job as well as a person might do and bring back maybe a superior data set. First prototype, first article is called SR1. Um, so uh, a service company would take the robot, the robot is then uh, lowered into the tank and then once there it basically navigates around the tank and moves along much in the way like you see them sort of mow the lawn at a, uh, a baseball park, right? Just back and forth and back and forth and it just uh, scans the floor, measuring the thickness of the floor as it goes. Being a, a startup, you know, you have to move fast, right? That's, that's the number one most important thing. Move fast, move accurate, right? So what was important to us was being able to remain collaborative um, because that's how we keep the speed up. One of the things we were able to get with SolidWorks was a cloud-based PLM solution that allowed models to be shared over great distances and be synchronized instantly. I uh, am lucky to work remote for Square Robot. I live in New York and I'm here at headquarters in Boston about once a month. The PLM services has allowed us to share CAD data back and forth so that Sarah's models, both subassembly parts, can quickly integrate into that top level assembly. Square Robot doesn't have any servers. We basically use everything uh, cloud-based. Previously we'd, we'd have to communicate on a regular basis and, and let each other know I'm working on this specific part at this specific time. With the new 3D Experience platform it's a lot easier to see who's got what parts reserved and who's working on what and you can see when it was last updated. It's drastically faster to get simple changes uh, shared. Sarah can upload an update and I can hit refresh and pull down the new model instantaneously. So if I, if I wanted to make a change to this assembly, I can, I can open up each individual part and it, it'll pull up a whole new version of my session. And then once this is pulled up, I can go into my session and I can check to make sure that there haven't been any other changes um, because the platform will show me right here if, if Charles changed something and if I need to update my part. So if I decided to go in and I wanted to change the size of this hole, I could go in and, and easily change it to a different size. She just notified me that she's made the changes. I can open it up. At this point, you can see that the status, uh, I have an outdated model. There's a more recent version, so I can get revision. Uh, and then here, you can see that the whole size did increase from the previous version. So in the PLM services platform, there are bookmarks, which are allow us to organize each of the parts. Uh, we like to put at least one bookmark, two parts. So like the off-the-shelf components, you know, miscellaneous hardware, sensors, they all fall into some category, maybe navigation. It, allows us to quickly search a category of parts for multiple SOLIDWORKS parts and assemblies. Uh, this is the PLM Services Lighthouse community where you can post ideas or questions about the platform. So you scroll through and see this is one I posted. It's gone through a couple different stages at this point. It was recognized as a new enhancement. It was under review from the SOLIDWORKS team and now it's a planned future improvement. So it's kind of cool to see the community recognize your idea. I definitely have posted in the community. It's been very helpful, um, especially with like figuring out features and how they work. If somebody else has a question that I also have, it's, it's been very helpful. The PLM Services has made that connection for multiple users to share CAD data. However, that isn't the only capability of the platform. It has a lot of other features that we're only scraping the surface at this point. If you're not designing your systems and not setting up your business such that you can get the best people wherever they are, you're going to have problems. And tools like a cloud-based PLM services solution help you get there, and you want to get those problems out of the way, because that's a problem you can solve, so solve it.